Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell you are a part of it, and you're an asshole, I right? I don't, because you burned it. I have more important. You don't understand this? Right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't. I really hate that guy. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Okay. It'll be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, right. he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? No. You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Alright, I'll do that. Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did You're gonna make this very easy for me. So maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, Total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Look, Crane left us in the lurch here. He just can't be handing out cash unless it's something, you know, urgent. I wish I could help. But... Me and my boy getting shipped off to the farm is pretty bloody urgent to me. And I even brought in this damn magic coat. I could have sold it, but I know you wanted it. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig? Hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for monies at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask what? for any more than I need. I just wanna what stay. What is it? So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe. Can come back at some point. Fine. We'll deal with Best it. I can do. What a crook of shite. The government by the fables for the fables, my arse. I 
I have to, man. Beer. Don't want to, but now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not yeah. seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Okay. Good. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man probably talked or something, hand, or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Okay. Awesome. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Uh-oh. She knows! just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay okay it's it like wasn't we'll really it was kind of an accident you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. So he's in multiple places. That's Central yeah. Park. We I don't know, know that. When it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street. I justice. will. I know that emotion. I will bring him alive. alive. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I'm ready. I got no other choice. Now let's go find him. And bring him to justice. Kick the door open, yes. Oh. Intriguing. Hello, the crooked man. Tim. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch what? the door, 
I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. So they were I'm expecting me. bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. I feel like this might be a trap. Just so, ever so slightly, like... If they were expecting me, they knew I was coming here, it's not a surprise, because I could have set up... Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think I don't he care who he treats like. you. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only. He's done I've so got. many bad things. Just keep that in mind, maybe, because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? No. I don't. A lot of us depend on him. I hate Some Crane. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Yeah, I might as well. Thanks. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, man? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Tell me who the fuck is back I there. Scared of you. I, so I, I don't exactly I know. I, I just mind the door. You needn't worry. The boss is there. Come around. I know that much. I might cring before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is the Alright, let's go in. Or dim enough to do it. That won't be necessary. Oh, okay. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort but you handled it you did well you can go now thank you sir you see everyone in fable town has a role to fill you just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it why don't you have a seat sheriff we have a great deal to discuss. Yeah, fine, let's talk. Because I can't All really right. do anything. He's got, got so many here. people in here. Let's I don't know talk. if I can fight everyone. stories about you in the old days how you picked off those men one by one oh how they screamed the wolf is coming and they would wait hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic shivering corpses some would just drop to their knees where they stood close their eyes and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> Alright, that is the end of this uh, episode. So I guess I will see you next time.